Yeah, so let's talk about sponsorships a little bit and what we've put together. And, and I have, um, you know, I put together a chart and, and I've, you know, we put it down in writing. It's our dream team. And it's, it sort of lists all of the people that, um, that we really would love to attract to, to be part of this team. And one of that is we really need someone who is good at managing or selling sponsorships to corporations. And I just want people to think for a second that maybe you work in a company and you have access to a marketing uh, vice president or a marketing department that might be interested in, in a sponsorship like this. And there's a lot of feature benefits for the corporation um, if, if they're interested in a program like this. And then also we're looking for people that uh, are very good at um, you know, doing research on companies and, and uh, making sure that we're aligning. We're, we're looking for companies that have the same philosophy as you have on this tour. Green companies, companies that really are concerned and um, have compassion for the environment. And we're looking for corporations that really believe in inspiring people and that it's about giving back. That you that as a corporation you're giving back to the community, and this is one way that you could do that. And and on top of that, by doing so, you also uh, get a lot of benefits from social media and from the videos that would be posted online. I mean, you have over five million viewers. I mean, those are big numbers for a company uh, that may not have a social media program right now. Yeah, and uh, I feel and I feel that the the, the companies that uh, we're attracting are companies that are the companies of the future you know they see the importance of the people they see how you know inspiration is crucial that they see that their brand is their employees you know it's it's their you know it's their client it's people and and I think there's a whole new set of companies being launched right now or there's companies old companies are reinventing themselves that really get that and that's my total intention you know, to, to really attract these types. Yes, and you know, there are a lot of, you just mentioned a lot of big corporations, major corporations that may not have been as conscious uh, in the past, but they realize now that they want to make changes. And this is a great way to uh, really improve or build their image in the marketplace as a company that really cares about people. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to uh, hold the energy that there's uh, people and companies out there Yay. that are, and they're going to find us, and they're going to find uh, that this program works for them. Excellent. So, you know, I'm I'm really want to put that appeal out there that if if you're someone and you're watching this and you would really like to contribute uh, some of your time, it's, it doesn't have to be a lot of time. It could be, you know, an, an hour a week or something. But if you'd like to contribute some of your time to help be a part of this dream. And actually, you'll get recognition if you, you know, at some point, I, th I think legally we're going to have a page or something on the website maybe that will list all the people. Oh, the contributors for sure. Absolutely. And, um, and so, you know, you'll get some benefit from that too, plus how you'll feel internally by being a part of this project. Mm -hmm. uh, and it can be just sending us a contact, you know, also. There are some people that have contacts that can make the introductions and then that don't have the time or don't want to handle those calls and that's fine too. Everything. We need your help. That's true. So, yes, uh, please, um, yeah. let, let your intuition guide you. And if you feel excited and you feel like this is a great thing, then give us a call or email us. I yeah. think you've got it, an email on your site, so you can also email us and, as well. And there's, there's so many things that we can update on. I'm also thinking of the, 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 I mean, the, the donations. Yes. And let's talk about that for a minute because I know we've had a couple of comments and um, I want to make sure that people are clear on what the do the actual donation means. Um, we, you know, many groups and organizations and, and um, you know, are really looking, they need funds in order to continue. And right now there's kind of a big, sort of a big thing online called crowdfunding. And crowdfunding is where you post a project and then people can donate uh, from one dollar to you know to ten thousand dollars, and so we're sort of following and that. And Kickstarter, right? Kickstarter is a is a website where you can actually go and post your project. They focus mainly on creative projects, um, uh, in the arts, music, 
those kind of things. And so we looked at, at wanting to be a project on that, but I don't, I'm not, our project just didn't fit their, um, I guess their criteria, but we said, okay, we're not going to let that stop us. And I think in a way, and this is a great example, Lilu, of sometimes when you think something is negative, but it really is positive because it opens a door for you to do something else. We we all of a sudden said, wait a minute, we can do this ourselves on our own website. We'll create our own donation website. So what I also want to be able to explain is that if you choose to donate a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever, you actually get something in return for that. It's not just sending your money and and you don't really get anything. And you know, we put a list together and we like to call them rewards because you're getting a reward. And it's also what we call a win win. You're giving some of your money, we're giving back to you something that has a value for you. And just to give you an example, you can go to um we have a donation site actually set up, and you can pay through PayPal and so forth. But you can donate five dollars, and just for five dollars through the JuicyLivingTour.com website that will be posted Juicy soon. Tour. Yes, JuicyLivingTour.com website, and then you'll be able to click on the donation, and then you can see all the features. Um, but we have like five dollars, and for five dollars. You know, you'll get updates about the project. You'll be added to a newsletter. You'll get information on the blog. You'll you'll be the first to start getting when the videos are being created. You'll be one of the first. Fifteen dollars. You'll get a, a PDF of Lilu's book. I lost my job and liked it. And if and let me tell you, this is a great book because it's really a journal, but it's all about the step by step process that Lilu went through. When she uh, lost her job in, it was in uh, London, correct? Yeah, yeah. And um, and I want to tell you, and and you you've seen lots of comments on her website, but this is a book that will inspire you. That when you think, you know, maybe you're just not going to be able to find a job because you've been laid off, or because you have you're you're seeking something different. This book will inspire you to stay focused. And just be like a dog on a bone. You will continue <laughs> to move forward because this book can inspire you. So, I mean, Thank for you. $15, you can get a download of her book, the PDF of the book. For uh, Plus, you'll get the, the newsletter, the, all the previous things in the $5 donation. And then we have a $35 donation. You get an actual copy of the book, like a real book. Um and then you get the other. You'll get a PDF as well, and then you'll also get the newsletter. And then we have a five hundred dollar donation, and for that you get a signed book. And actually, Lily will meet you in any of the tour cities that she's touring in, and she'll meet you for coffee and spend some time with How you and get fun. To know. <laughs> yeah. So, what are some of the things you're going to do, Lily? You meet this person for coffee or for coffee? Oh and you're going, I don't know. I don't know. This is so exciting. <laughs> Yeah, that could be fun. I mean, just think of all the new people. Getting that together, could... just getting around, you know, uh, each other's energy and, and the excitement of the tour. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Well, and then we have other donation levels. We have like a 1,200, a 35, a, a 10,000. Yes, that's a huge number. But the, but these larger donations, now we're actually going to get into because we expect the larger donations are going to come from either businesses or, or maybe even corporate executives. But what we're going to give in return... Uh, people that, that want to give in return. I mean, there's some people that, you know, just want to give and participate in bigger numbers. And that right. is very welcome, too. Right, right. And and we're in return for some of these donations. Then Lily will also meet you personally. But also, she's going to do a video with you. And uh, you can be featured in terms of maybe some of your philosophies for the world, if you choose, or you can talk about your company. Or you can why talk you wanted to contribute to the tour. You know, that's something I really do uh, want to interview that person on. Why did you decide, it, you know, to, you know, give some of your money and donation and donate uh, for this tour to take place in a big way? That's exciting. I that's inspiring to me, you know, people 
giving giving and sharing i mean that's just that's just big in itself and i think it can inspire a lot of other projects these kind of videos so that's I think the content so i want to put out Talk a little bit about the $20,000 donation, which I know is huge, mm -hmm. but talk a little bit about all the things that someone would get to do with that, because that's a big one. Well, it's that's all it's all of what we just talked about, plus the fact, uh, if I remember correctly, it's going on the tour for two days with the tour, in the tour bus, and staying with us, um, you know, having the accommodation and the food, but just being around behind the scene and you know, doing videos together. I mean, it's the whole thing. And of course, this is available, you know, for people from all around the world. So right. from anybody can fly in and, and meet us. And, um, and then from that point on, when you arrive on the tour, then everything is taken care of and, and you meet a lot of people on the way. And it's just, it's just pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, and you know, I was just thinking about something too. It kind of came into my head as you were talking. Uh, it might be kind of fun to, uh, I'd like to kind of maybe draw a card that whoever that person is out there, and I, I really do believe there's somebody out there that is going to um, really think about contributing in a big way. And what, you know, I'm sitting here sort of intuitively going, wow, what, what could that mean for that person? Uh, it could be, it could be life changing to be able to, um, you know, be a part and spend a couple of days on the tour and so forth. Especially for depending on who's the, 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 the teacher, you know, or because I'm thinking, I mean, there's just some awesome people, especially, I mean, all around the U.S. or all around the world, but just thinking of California area, you know, or, or if, if you just love uh, Dren Vallo or, uh, you know, or Louise Hay or what have you, and then on this day we're interviewing them, you know, how cool would that be to just be there? Right, right. I mean, there's so many opportunities yeah. around it. And, so, and, and I also know that a lot of... life changing, yeah. Right. Well, and you know, we've talked about this, but the, the videos that you will be creating and the people that you will be interviewing all will have a special energy. And that special energy will impact people all over the world. And... Um, ah, I'm so excited! <laughs> So, yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah. The energy is so coming in. <gasps> I know. And you know what I think is really special is that you've been interviewing a lot of famous people, authors and leaders and influencers, and now you're actually going to go out into the world and you're going to find just everyday people that are making a difference. And that's important also. And, you know, some of those people would never tell anyone what they're doing, the good that they're doing. But that's what makes them so special is that they're just doing good in this world and, um, and they don't really care if anybody else knows. They're just out there doing what they believe their mission is. And I think that's so important. Yeah. And there's some people doing, yeah, as you said, just so amazing. And the common thing between either, you know, all the people, they're, they're all juicy. They all have the spark. They all have this passion and and for life and this connection and this inspiration and they're just you know they're the kind of people when we're around them it's it's you feel it you know you you just your energy expands and you feel good about who you are and um, you're inspired and you're like ready to be in action in, in your own life and I'm just so thankful for I just, I can feel all this energy already coming in, you know, I can feel those people and I can feel the attraction. It's like magnets going right and left and straight on the tour and just, you know, going for that and allowing life to bring up all those stories. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, sometimes I think what's so great about this energy and it makes me feel this way is that I get the feeling sometimes when we're working on this project it's sort of like I've won the lottery. You know how that energy would feel? If yeah. somebody told you you've won the lottery, well, you'd have this energy where there wouldn't be anything that would destroy that feeling. And, and I call that, you know, just being totally connected to your inner source, to your source. And, you know, I get that feeling when I, everyone I have met that is a part of this, this whole team, like Linda, and I mean, 
Uh, you know, the, the people who've been guiding you and supporting you and like the big leap and, and, um, and Freeman Michaels and Michael uh, Lozier. I mean, all these different people and they just have such great energy. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's catching. And there is I mean, also, and there is also a wonderful person I want to acknowledge right now that lives in Chicago and her name is Linda. And she's behind the scene and really part of this dream team, one of the first people to be part of it. And she's working on my book. She's working on the editing of the second book. Um, and she's been so loving and so right there. And I'm so moved by her love and, and how she's present. And uh, it's just, I love this unconditionality about her. And, and the people for me that are part of the dream team right now are people that are believing in this project, are believing in this vision and that want to contribute. Yes, there is some big things to get out of it, but they're there because they want to be part of it, because they believe in it, you know, and I just so love that. And for me, that's a real, that's a real, you know, uh, dream team member. It's like Linda is just giving, 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 you know, uh, both Lindas, because we have two Lindas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we yes, like some men in the team too, so, uh, you know. But all of that, that it's just like this really, this, this, this sharing this love is really moving. And that's, that's what creates the energy of the project. That's what will make the project big. And, and once the finance, you know, get in and all of that, of course, then we can, we can support even more the team members. And it's just wonderful. Well, you know, one of my philosophies is that sometimes you have to step up and you have to defy the odds. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, so many people don't move forward in their dream because others tell them they can't do it or they use excuses and say, I don't have the money or I don't have this or I don't have that. I think that this program, this tour, this Juicy Living tour mm -hmm. is proof that, yes, you can. Yes, you have that vision and we're not going to stop until that until all these things are achieved and much more we're not stopping i'm not giving up none of us are giving up we're not i'm not letting anything stand in my way uh, i mean i can make lots of excuses i can put lots of walls up but the point is is that we're not gonna give up because it's going to happen and as i say it's going it's happening i'm changing that yes it's happening yeah. it's already happening we are in it and You're I think so if, in if, it, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I'm still going. If you have time and you want to be in this energy, then, you know, send us an email yeah. because it's, a, I, I can guarantee you'll have lots of fun. Yeah. If anything else, it's, there's so much fun and, and just a great feeling. And I know I, I had this great feeling. I mean, I mean, I have other, I have another business that, that I, my, my own business I work in, but I find myself wanting to spend all my time on this <laughs> and because it feels so good. So it's, it's really about, uh, like you said, it's about really sometimes just being led in a purpose, in a cause, maybe, um, maybe people yeah. just want to make a small just difference. just being in that energy, then you then I think we all realize then our potential. And sometimes we need that kind of energy and project to discover, uh, you know, how great, like we already knew we were good at that, but how about, as Gay Henrik say, you know, taking that to the, to the zone of genius. And then you're like even surprising yourself. You're like, what, actually I have that much to give? And oh my God, this much? And it's just, it, it's a ripple effect because the more we focus on good stuff like this and the more we were in that vortex of energy, then of course your entire life transforms in all areas, in all right. areas, in your relationships, in your love relationships, in your relationship to money, in your relationships with all of, all of it. Oh, that's so true. And, you know, it's also about uh, transformation sometimes comes in little baby steps. Um, it, you don't have to make big leaps. Yeah, right. <laughs> There's a big leap, but sometimes it's those little. It's sort of like you're 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 stepping up slowly to the pool or to the lake. You're stepping up slowly, and then you go, okay, I'm just gonna jump in, and and that's what sometimes you know that's what you're doing. 
You know, you're you're That's jumping in that lake knowing that uh yeah, it's gonna be really cold, but it's gonna be <laughs> great. <laughs> Yeah, and it, and it it is normal that it brings up fears, you know. This is part of it, but um, it's 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 just a wonderful feeling of being alive and of and of 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 just yeah, being alive and connected. And once the things you know start manifesting, and you have just recognition that you are on track with what you're supposed to do and meant to do, it's uh, it's so. It's like nothing else, you know. It's just nothing else can can uh, can replace that feeling. Well, you know, you you brought up the the fact that it does bring up fears, and um, you know, even when I work with uh, other clients, sometimes in guiding or facilitating them and um, developing a project and so forth, what I always tell people is that fear is very important. Because fear sometimes is the emotion that will drive you to to really seek what something good feels like. And if we didn't have fear, we wouldn't always know what it would mean to to feel really good or to accomplish. So, you know, I'm honoring. I mean, you both of us have had fears, and you know, I'm I'm going to be the first. I mean, I'll admit that there are times when I'm fearful or doubtful about myself about you know, can I really achieve this? Or, or as uh, I think as Michael would say, sometimes doubt starts to, to, to kill that, that energy. And so, but that's natural. That's normal. What's really important is that when you, when you connect with others, you help each other out. You, you know, I may be feeling doubtful one day and Lilu tells me, oh, don't worry, this is going to happen. And then I get, you know, it's like I get infected with her energy. It's like great energy. And then I think, oh, she's so right. And then there are days when she may not be feeling as positive and I'm feeling really great. I got up, you know, <laughs> I conquered the world today. And then I share that energy with her. And that is a lot of what this is about is um, supporting each other, and um, you know, yeah. so fear is going to come up, and 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 there will be times when I mean, I'm sure that many people who are multimillionaires today probably thought at some point in their life they could never be a millionaire, but yet they are, and that's because they stayed focused. They found people that encouraged them, and they they also gave back, and I think giving back is very important. And we want to give back to um, the community and all of those individuals that are part of this team. And, you know, who knows where this could go, Lulu? I mean, this may end up being, who knows where this team could go. I mean, we might all end up being a permanent team. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't that's really know. The, that's, that's the vision. That's my vision. Yes. That's definitely the vision um, that I'm holding, for sure. Yeah, it's kind of, Kind of like creating your own job, you know. If you've always wanted to to be uh, a person who, uh, you know, has a if you have an expertise, or if you wanted to be a, uh, you know, be on a tour and, and be a coordinator, or help sell sponsorships, or or just help, um, you know, spread the inspiration. You know, this is an opportunity. There is many other. Can you tell us quickly the the, the needs, the other uh, needs like skills that that are needed? Yeah. In fact, I'm looking at my my chart. Um, we we ultimately are going to need a tour coordinator, and I know that's going to be someone that's going to have to work very closely with you, and that'll you know you you really will have to determine you know the fit for that. But that would be someone that would be with you in the cities. That's going to help just coordinate the daily activities and uh, and possibly even help coordinate some of the uh, public relations or interviews because we do hope that as you go to various cities that you can get some local interviews on the radio and television stations about what it's you're doing. It's not a whole thing that's happening. Two interviews, two radio interviews today, more. Oh. I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't even know that. No, no, but what I mean is that... I, you know, my intention is not put it as a hope. Yes, there's going to be tremendous uh, media exposure. I mean, how exciting is it to go on the road and inspire and, and with such a mission of wanting to inspire, you know, people? Um, I do hope that local media, yeah, I mean, more than a hope. I, this word hope is sometimes, you know, I, I want to shift that energy because it's like... 
it's uh, I do know that there is some media, you know, looking after those kind of stories. Yeah, yeah, and um, and ac again, that would be that's a benefit to you know any business or company that might be sponsoring. They would get that local market. Um, um, yeah. Uh, what am I trying to say? Benefit or, or the yeah. public awareness. Um, the other thing that we that we really need that's important is, um, and I don't know about you, but I know this is not my skill. Um, and even in my own business, but we need someone who would donate maybe some of their accounting time or a CPA because there'll be a lot of um, records and things that have to be kept, we have to keep track of. And, you know, I've learned over time that, you know, what you can't do best, you hire somebody to do or you find somebody to help you. So we really need someone that'd be willing to do maybe some bookkeeping or help us organize how we keep track of expenses Absolutely. and the monies that come in. And that's really important because how you manage your money sometimes is, is oh, how... Oh, huge, yeah. Definitely a sharp person right there on the dot. Perfect. Absolutely. Uh, and then on top of that, too, we need, uh, you know, we also need some legal advice. Um, I, I actually had spoken with a, a wonderful attorney yesterday. She calls herself a creative counselor. Uh -huh. And so she's interested in, in possibly uh, helping us out a little bit, but um, but we may need some different levels yeah. of some legal support. Um well, of course, we need a motorhome. I mean, we need like the 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 one that was the, that you just did the pictures of, and so forth. We really are looking for someone that could help us out with that, whether it's a donation or whether it's uh, um, you know maybe a, a a great huge discount or something like that. But we really do need access to a motorhome and maybe some thoughts or ideas how we do that. Um, of course, one of the more important things, too, is a camera person, because when you're on the road now, you, you really need someone that can work with you, who has experience, who understands yeah. kind of on the road tours. Yeah, yeah. And, and the editing skills. And it could be a person that has the camera and the editing skills, but somebody that has that that knowledge, that has the ideally the equipment, too, and that has the drive and the vision and the eye for it. And um, because this, this, I mean, there's so much that we can do with this footage and I really do want to bring in, uh, you know, that kind of high level type of team working really, really closely, you know, together on, uh, on those interviews and going around and shooting the reality scenes behind it. I mean, there's, there's that's that's for me a big one because I'll be working really closely to to that person on the tour. That person will be on the tour, right? And then we also need a PR. Um, we, we we need some people who are good at public relations oh, yeah. and maybe helping us um, develop press releases and who could help coordinate uh, by markets, maybe uh, possible interviews with. Um, local television and radio mm -hmm. stations um, and and that could be different people it could actually be like if we were going I think one of the cities you're um, well Santa Fe is is a starting point and I mean if there was somebody in Santa Fe that's good in PR that would be great to have that person right there who could help out so yeah. you know and as as you determine the cities you're going to will be talking about those different cities and maybe people in those cities could help out mm -hmm. but we really need that support and they know, the experts know, how many details have to be coordinated yeah. around that. Mm. Um, and then we also need, um, you have, a, a you have like you said, some video translators have stepped up. They need even and, more, yeah. Even in yeah, French, uh, more even so in French. I have some right now in German. Uh, but there's going to be, uh, you know, English to French, uh, Spanish, Finnish, Dutch. All of that, but it's like it, there's a tremendous amount of translations and of videos that are currently on the website. They're still being translated, and then on uh, you know on the tour ongoing. Like so, the team is going to be big, um, you know. And even if you're part of a company or know a company that translate and subtitle videos that want to donate their time to to do that and also contribute and become, um, you know, like some kind of sponsor of it, then then that's awesome too. Because I really want to make all those videos videos available in so many different languages for everybody.
because I feel and hear the frustration, just putting the, 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 the English and French one, and then when you cannot understand the other one, when it's a topic that you feel is interesting, and, and it's just like you feel like you're missing out. So I don't want to have, uh, you know, I want to focus on, on providing content in multiple languages. That's, that's a big one. Right. And then we also have, um, and I know this may sound strange to um, some people, but obviously once we have one of these big buses, um, insurance is a big thing. I mean, you have to have the, the proper kind of insurance. And so if there's any insurance companies out there that would love to donate insurance or be a sponsor, yeah. and in return, we could do a great sponsorship for a company. And, and even for a, a bus company, we could potentially do a, a big sponsorship program to give them exposure and, and um, feature them. And then the last uh, piece that we have in terms of a team member is maybe a virtual administrative person who could help us coordinate a lot of our materials and um, just be sort of a follow-up person for us. Again, not a lot of time, but someone that could just even help me because as I'm building this team, I um, I need more and more support in different yeah. areas, and and you know, and also too, the goal long term is we'll be doing virtual team meetings um, on the phone, yeah, <laughs> and, and maybe on Skype. I'm not sure, but you know, we we will communicate. But the the most important, and and this is the the bigger box on the page that I have. I'll go back to is we really need people that might be willing to. Um, introduce a sponsorship to their company or if they know of a company that might be interested in, in this kind of sponsor program um, or uh, looking for maybe some kind of a promotion or advertising. We really need leads and we need people that would be willing to help us follow up on those leads and uh, to get to the right people. Because uh, it does take a lot of time to try to, to get to the right person. Sometimes, you know, you, you start explaining the program and you find out you're in the wrong department. Or, there are some people that do that really, really well. Right. And as we all know, in the, in the age of uh, email and phone, voicemail and so forth, sometimes it's very hard to reach people. And I understand that because they're very busy. But, but I know that there are companies out there that this is a perfect match for them. They just don't know it yet. And um, intuitively, I feel it. I, I've always felt it. And... Um, and those that uh, step up, it, it'll end up being a great um, advantage for them and, and a great program. So that's kind of what I have so far. I'm sure awesome. there's... Awesome. And we can do, uh, um, we'll, as we said earlier, we'll do some weekly or some bi-weekly or we'll see. But we'll, we'll, do, we'll do these on a regular basis to inform where we're at on a strategic, you know, business uh, um, putting the pieces together type of video, Sharon and I, just like that. Um, it's exciting. We can have some fun. Maybe even on some of the videos, we'll we'll draw some cards or something and see what yeah. what, tell us, what direction that we can go and um, and uh, and give us sort of a, an insight for the day or an insight for the week. Do and, you want to do one right now to finish the video? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can feel your yeah, I think we should do one right now. Um, I know. <laughs> The, uh, in fact, it's always good to kind of end with, with sort of getting inspiration as to what the outcome is going to be of a situation. And, and this is really good. And actually, I draw a card every day just to kind of get insight as to, to what I need to address or deal with I for the day. So I'm just going to read. I'm reaching in. I'm turning my head. Side. I'm not going to look at what I'm picking. And um, I'm going to draw a card and I'm going to see what it says. I love your oh, this is great. And actually, out. these cards are cards that I designed myself. These are business and um, business and career in, insight cards. And so the one that came up, which is actually great, it's perfect for us right now, it's called Tunnel Vision. And you can actually see, I'll just kind of hold the card up. It's, uh, it's, it has a long explanation on it. But the tunnel, this is great because what tunnel vision means in this card is it's all about focus. It's all about getting very clear and starting to go down that tunnel. And when you're in that tunnel, there are no distractions. So it's about don't let anything distract you. It's to stay very focused, and which is what we've done today is we're having these meetings. We are putting things on paper. And um, one of the... One of the um, 
steps on on these cards that I designed is that I I believe that you know I believe that I can tell somebody what their future is, but it really doesn't mean anything to you if you don't have some action steps around that. And so on these cards, I have action steps, and so. Let's look at what the action step is on this card because I think it's great. It says, um, close your eyes and ponder the things that are truly important. And we talked about that today. Um, And then it says, write them down and explore their value. And so maybe later you might just, you know, spend some time and write down again, just confirm with yourself what's really the value and the importance of this tour because you want to stay focused. And then the other, uh, oh, the other uh, uh, action step I had down here was to read the Celestine Prophecy. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Just which go is to great. James Redfield and ask him. <laughs> yes, I know. It is. It's read the Celestine. If, if you really are sort of lost, I mean, we're, we're, we're doing this today. But this reminds me that I think I will go back and kind of review the Celestine Prophecy because when I read that book the first time, I actually read one of the original copies that he had published and it had been sent to me by someone in Portland, Oregon, a friend of mine, and it changed my life. So this is telling me today that there's some energy in that book that's going to help us on, on what we're doing now and, and, and contributing to the tour. So this is my reminder to go back and step into some energy in that book that is going to support this. So, um, and you may want to look at it too, because you've interviewed James Redfield several times. Maybe I'll bring him on camera. Yeah. So, and that's what, you know, I love about these cards is that it does give you an action step and that action step will support the, um, the energy of moving forward. Awesome. So we know what we have to do now. Oh, and then uh, the other thing is there's a number on this card and it's the number nine, which is really good because it means that we are wrapping up plans and cycles and we're getting ready to move into new adventures. <laughs> ba ba boom. Yes. Yes. Well, thank you, beautiful Sharon. Thank you so much. It's such a, so much fun to connect here and to reinforce the vision and to share it with everybody. I'm so grateful we're working on this project together and that you wanted and have been part of it and are part of it. It's just wonderful to have you. Thank you. Well, thank you too. You know, I'm loving this every day. <laughs>